So this year I decided to participate in a little game called Art Fight, which is where you upload your characters and you can draw other people's characters. Um, it's a bit like a contest to see which team can make the most drawings, get the most points, but really what it is is just a giant art trading game <laughs> where you can draw characters that interest you and get surprise gift art, which is always fun. I think every artist strives to get gift art, or at least lives off of getting gift art. But yep, it was my very first year. I decided to pick Team Seafoam, which sounds hilarious considering my theming is like a little bit space themed. But funny thing, my little mascot is supposed to be like a mermaid, fish, cat, space creature. So I was kind of torn. Um, the first drawing that you're seeing here was one that I picked out way ahead of time. When I saw these two characters, I knew I had to draw them. They are best friend, gym leaders. Um, they have really contrasting um, colors and body types, which was so fun, um, especially Ku. I was really excited to draw him. Um, I thought that his design was awesome, and you don't see a lot of older characters, I think. Most people who make OCs, they're kind of young, so they make young characters. Um, but now that some of us are getting older, you know, we're making different generations, and then even then, I don't really know the age of the person who created these characters, so it's possible that they were just made for fun. Um, the person who made them did tell me that these characters were made in collaboration with their own partner, so it was kind of like a, a gift for two people in one, which is just so fun and exciting. But yeah, you'll be able to see my process throughout drawing these. Um, sometimes I skip around, sometimes I really focus on one area, um, but generally I'll do like a sketch and then I'll refine that sketch to create line work. I'll like use the sketch directly for the line work most of the time, uh, fill in my flats, and then of course do my shading. Um, I'm a big fan of the multiply layer. I mean, I think it's the simplest and easiest way to draw and get a nice looking finished product. And let's face it, digital painting is a lot of work and I wanted to do a lot of different pieces for this little game. So I was like, okay, <laughs> let's make sure we're not burning out and doing like a thousand percent on every photo. But yeah, I was really happy to be able to draw these characters. I feel like I was able to do them justice. Um, and I just love the idea that these guys have been like friends for so long, just like best friends. They've kind of gone in similar but like different directions in life and they're still hanging out. Here's my finished product. Yay, so cute. Then this next one was kind of like a break from doing something so complex and serious. I found this really cool shaped character and his name is Spindle. Um, I love Spinda. I mean, I love Hoenn. I love Spinda and I love Pokemon. So when I saw this really cute character, I was like, okay, this is one I'm going to have to do. So as you can see, it's a much more simple shaped character. The refining was a lot easier in this one. And then I think I, I played around with this one a little bit color-wise, like I was keeping those brown outline, filling in the swirls there, and then I needed to contrast the face and the scar marking, so I added some darker lines, 
And then I tried to do a bunch of different backgrounds. None of them worked, so I went with something really simple. Just some little swirls. And then it gets a little smaller because I cropped it, but that's the finished product. This one was a friend's character from a server that I'm in. And as soon as I saw her, I was like, oh my god, yes! She has like a heart theme, and she's a really like cute character that likes to dress up in different outfits. Um, so I knew, yes, I'm definitely going to have to do this one. Um, I was taking a break from my usual line work process and doing a more straightforward, like, okay, sketch layer, line layer. And I especially wanted to do that because of her hair texture. I wanted to really work in a bunch of little curlies and some ruffly bits to give that illusion of the very curly hair texture. As well as, of course, she has fur on her legs. Um, a different texture, but still kind of like a hair texture. And I decided to go all pink because <laughs> I love pink so much. So I dressed her up in the cutest all pink. It's kind of like a um, nightgown sort of lingerie type dress so maybe for like a party as well this could be good for like a party it's maybe not so much like an everyday wear but I like to dream big <laughs> for this one I tried to do some like softer shading with the multiply change her body of the dress to be glitter because of course we love glitter and then I just throw in the textured background. Very cute. This one was a revenge gift for someone who drew something for me. And they had multiple characters that I considered. But I ended up drawing Toby because he's this like usual teen boy <laughs> who likes Germa, I guess. <laughs> Love that. The Jerma iPad, it made me laugh so much. But um, I also don't usually do a lot of furry characters. So I was excited to do um, like a little anthro furry, especially because he's a little bit more in the realm of like a Sonic style, like not quite a Sonic styled character, but he's much more in that uh, shape and proportion, which is something I'm very familiar with drawing. The first thing I ever drew was actually Sonic characters, so <laughs> it's it's like a calling back on my skills a little bit. I also got to cheat and use this person's color palette because the colors that were picked for him were already so good. I just loved being able to like directly grab them. And then I got kind of crazy with it. I was like, what if I did like a green multiply? <laughs> give him kind of a grungy look and it actually came out really nice I'm just adding back in some detail and then I'll throw in that background as usual I love doing the little highlight of white to pop out the character I feel like it really makes them separated from the background this one's for Sage you might have seen in some of my videos Sage loves bag beans. I don't really get it, but they're kind of a fun shape. So I wanted to challenge myself and draw this one because, oh my goodness, complicated design 101. Like the shapes of the body are simple, but the character's colors are wild. So I was like, okay, I've got to try this. And with the dreads, I kind of carved those in with my airbrush to really get that, like, hair texture. But of course, I go in and add those little bands. For most of, I think for pretty much all of these, I color picked on references. Um, so I always have the reference not only in the background for you guys to see, but I have it on my canvas looking at it there to make sure that I'm matching the colors appropriately, that I can select them from there. I don't do a lot of super crazy um, like color and value stuff. I just 
go with the flow so I just picked it from there but I remember I was doing a lot of shading on this character to try and make it very glowy and 3d and at the end I even considered doing like a smudge effect but I get rid of it so <laughs> yeah <laughs> this one was probably my favorite piece And then there was a clown. It's Gesture. Look at her happy face. She's so cute. She has a little creature um, assistant, but I decided to just draw the person since drawing people is my forte. But I love a lot of the elements of this character. I love stars. I love hearts. I love big bows. I like wear a, a lot of huge bows in real life. So whenever I see big bows on a character, I get very excited. And I thought she was just a really fun and kind of like exciting character. She seemed like a lot of fun to not only draw, but you know, I would imagine like hanging out with her and she would be like really fun and over the top. I remember the line work for this one was really difficult actually. I struggled with this a lot and because of the way that Procreate speeds up a, a speed paint, it looks very like slow, like steady work. <laughs> um, but I was taking a lot of breaks from this one. I would like have to put it down and walk away because my brain was just getting overwhelmed with the, the pose you know, the hands, the perspective, the hair seriously gave me trouble for some reason. Uh, but I think it came out okay in the end. Um, one thing I try not to do is get too much in my head about it. Because um, when I look at all of these in retrospect, there's so much I might want to change um, that I... I just can't change it anymore and going back and changing it I feel like it's not actually worth my time like these are not paid commissions these are not for a comic book or professional work these are like hobbyist drawings they're for fun they're for enjoyment so I learn from each and every one of them but I often don't go back and fix or redo pieces I just don't feel like it's a worthwhile use of my time but I've kind of always been like that I don't like the planning stage I don't like you know changing and refining things I just I want to draw what I have in my head and then I want to draw something else <laughs> so um, if I ever did become a professional artist I think I would really struggle with the, the conceptual stage because I would just jump straight in much too fast and then my piece wouldn't be perfect and that would be hard but this one came out so cute i loved brightening up her hair and i remember i put a color filter on this one just to tie it all together um, and yeah the final piece i'm so happy with it and then this one was another one of those times when i decided to take a break i wanted um, a more simple character to play with, something that wasn't as complicated, although I later had trouble with those bows on the bottom of the dress. But um, as you can see, I decided not to do the airbrush refine line art. I went in with a um, line art brush and just traced over to get those really um, really defined lines and really shape it out. Yeah, those bows at the bottom of the dress gave me a little bit of trouble, but I'm so happy with them in the end. And apparently the shoes that this character is wearing are called um, like rocking horse shoes. I'm very fascinated by this because they look like they'd be difficult to wear, but they are so cute. I used to want to be like like to dress in Lolita styles, but that never panned out for me. So it's always a joy to draw characters that wear 
anything even remotely similar to that. And then of course I almost forgot, but I didn't forget those colorful sprinkles at the top. Um, and I just worked those in right at the end when I was doing all my refinements and shading. And there she is! This character I think I came across either when I was looking for random characters or I was looking through the like recently posted um, and she was right up my alley. Very cute. I liked her curly hair and the different varieties of like white and off-white, pink. It was so cute. There's a line on her leg. It looks like a worm. And I don't notice it for like half the speed paint. So if you're seeing that right now, you, you saw it. You caught me. <laughs> but yeah, I literally didn't even notice because I was zoomed in for most of the speed paint. I just never noticed there was a line on her leg. And then I got rid of it. So yay, it's gone. <laughs> but yeah, you can see I'm adding in her like lace, her little details. Um, I put the ref in so I can get those colors roughed in. Love being able to pick those colors and experiment with a palette that I might not have chosen. And this character apparently lost an arm due to lore reasons. So <laughs> I'm not sure what the lore is, but she's rocking it anyway. And she's got some kind of tattoo or um, marking on her arm there, but there was not a very good reference or like not a separate reference for it. So I just did my best and I hope I did it justice. Could not decide on the background on this one. And this one apparently is someone's PNG tuber character. Um, when I saw this character, I was like, oh my god, look at our hair. We're like little twins. We have the like same similar elements to our characters. We've got like the same hair color. I really wanted to draw like our little mascot characters together. Um, this one again, it took a long time to get right. And of course, because of the way it's sped up, it looks like I got it. Nailed it in one. You know, I wish I was that good. <laughs> but I think I redid this one a couple of times. And of course, there was a lot of tiny adjusting and double checking the reference. And then even then at the end, you'll see I forget an element of the, <laughs> of the other character's design, which was funny. It's like, oh, good work. So much double checking and for what? We are only human. <laughs> But yeah, I was like, oh, it would be so cute if we were like drifting around in space and I'm kind of like leading, leading them. Um, we're like holding hands so we don't float away because when you're in space, the gravity's crazy. So if you let go, you die. <laughs> if you let go, you die. Bottom line is, that's a motto for life. If you let go, you die. Um was proud of the hand I drew for me, <laughs> but the hand looked really good. But now I get to rough in some flats. In doing this, I kind of realized our characters don't have like exactly the same colors. Like they're really not the same uh, shade of yellow, different kinds of pink, different kinds of blue, but it's still like similar elements despite that. And I considered changing my colors to match this person's colors, but I decided not to do that in the end. I figured, like, I imagined, like, what if this was fan art? Which, I mean, it technically is, but, like, what if a fan had drawn a picture of us and kind of wanted to capture that energy? And then I'm roughing in. Gotta get my blue lashes. Gotta get our highlights in. I could have done more, but I wanted to put a nice background on this one. Which I eventually decide, you know what? I'm gonna be in space. So this is my first time drawing the Lost Mercury planet. 
because usually my sister does it. And this time I was like, no, I'm going to draw the planet. My little home planet. Let's go to space. If you see that collab in the future, don't be surprised. We're going to play Katamari and you guys are going to love it.